Good day students, this is Sir Bral and today I'm going to show you and to share to all of you how to access and navigate the online learning which is most commonly used nowadays which is the online learning edmodo.com. So kaming teacher nyo ay naniniwala na ang learning hindi lang natatapos sa apat na sulok ng classroom wherein with the advancement of technology we need to be mindful or be aware of the online learning apps that we could use online. So today, I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to access the edmodo.com. So the first that you need to consider is to have the application or the app you could be downloaded on your phones, which is the edmodo.com, or simply go to the website it, when it is the new edmodo.com. So, ang una natin gagawin is to first sign up to obtain an account. So then you're going to click student account because you're a student. And then you need to fill out the following information. So kailangan yung magkaroon ng Gmail or Yahoo Mail to access this. And may makikita kayong class code dito. You need to ask your teachers the class code because mag makakapasok kayo sa class if, you, if the teacher will provide the code. So once you have provided the code, so, so readily ma-access na ni teacher yung class niya at makakajoin ka sa kanya. So upon checking here, you need to fill out the following information. Okay, once you're done for fill have once you're done filling out the information, you need to create your account. So once you have access the account na, so may makikita na po kayo information, students, makikita nyo rin dito para siyang Facebook account lang wherein makikita mo may dito may profile and then dito sa mga ribbon tab na to, makikita mo dito yung mga command. So paano makaka-access sa class ni teacher? So ang gagawin lang ni student, may part dito, may three dots, you're going to do is to click this one and then pipili mo lang join a class. So, si teacher nakapag-provide sa'yo ng class code wherein i-input mo lang siya, which is V. Yan. So, para makapag- just click join. So, automatically, naka-join ka na sa class ni teacher. Sa so, English 01 Purposive Communication, ayan. So, so kapag naka-enter ka na sa class ni teacher, makikita mo dun lahat ng activities na meron siya. Like, for example, makita mo dito sa upcoming ay meron siyang pinos na quiz and also an assignment. So that is the first step on how to navigate that mode is to enter a class. Okay. The next one is how to post your activities online. So just go to simply to your class. Makikita ang class dito sa readable tab na classes or sa home. Kung saan makikita mo yung mga class mo. So if you want to go to your class, just go to my classes and go to the classroom. Just click this one. And yan, ma-access ka na mismo dun sa classroom mo. So, we have your teachers. So, yan yung teacher mo. So, just go to the class. And then, makikita yung mga activities. So, si teacher, nakapag-post siya ng mga activities niya. Yan. So, you can like and also you can give comments sa binigay ng teacher. So, ayan. So, another one is, nag-post si teacher na quiz. So, if you would want, the next step on how to do it is to take quiz. So, take quiz. Yan. Just read first the descriptions before answering the quiz para hindi tayo misled. So, yun. Read and understand each statement carefully before answering. So, the deadline of this one will be tomorrow. Pinigyan ang deadline ng teacher. In kailangan, makasagot ka sa quiz mo yung makapag-take ka dun sa binigyan ng deadline sa teacher. So, you have 6 questions out of 15 points in 60 minutes. So, let's try to take the quiz. Yeah, just answer the following questions. So you have 59, one hour to answer the, the questions. True. Yeah, kapag fill in the blanks sa sasagutan, you just need to type the answer sa blank. Sa matching type, you need just to drag the work in this column kung saan yung tamang sagot. Ilalagay kita tapag tatapatin mo lang siya kung saan siya dapat. Example is one. So, ita drag mo lang siya. Next, this one is a short answer type question. So, kailangan meron sagot si, si student na we're in, mas, mas ma-expound pa yung hinihinging concept ni teacher. So, next, this one is a mu multiple answer we're in, dapat marami kang pipiliin na sagot. 
So, if you are done, pwede mong balikan pa rin siya kung di, kung di ka sure sa mga sagot mo. Basta be mindful of the time. So, if you're done, just submit the quiz and mag-run through na yan sa'yo at makikita mo na yung quiz mo. So, let's see kung ano yung naging result. Click review. So, you got 8 over 15. Makikita mo kung ano mga tamang sagot. And dito sa short answer, since this one is short answer, kailangan na explanation. Hindi pa siya graded. Si teacher na mismo maglalagay ng grade. Sa so partial, so ayan. So, this is your how to take a quiz and end modo. So, next step naman is on how to um, answer an assignment and modo. Again, just go to your class and go sa post kung may pinose si teacher. Yan, may pinose si teacher na assignment number 1 in English 01. So, open the quiz. So, before answering anything, check mo muna yung description kung kailan yung due date. It will be tomorrow, 11.59pm. So, that's a subject. So, para makapag- answers ng assignment kay teacher, pwede yung gawin mo ay you attach file. It could be a file from your computer, from web, or file from library, or to create na lang. So, kapag text response, you simply answer here in the provided blank. And also, pwede na naman mismo sa Microsoft Word. Let's see. Paano pag siya sa my Word document? So, mag-locate siya sa Microsoft Word para makapag-take ka ng or paano makasagot ka ng assignment. So, let's take a look on how. For example, sample answer dun sa assignment. Automatically, kahit anong gawin mo dyan, ay magsasave na siya kay Edmodo. Kung babalikan natin yung quiz mo, ayun na siya. Or yung assignment ito, nandito na siya. So, pwede mo sabihin, good day. This is Just read the short description and then turn in assignment. So that's it. That's it on how to um, submit an assignment to your teacher. So simply, si teacher ay makakaroon na siya ng idea or malalagyan niya na ng grade. Once na malagyan na ng grade ni teacher, malagyan na ni teacher ng grade yung assignment mo, automatically magno-notify sa iyo yung assignment mo. So may notification, submitted the assignment number one. Submitted the preliminary quiz in purposive communication. So that's it. We already know how to answer a quiz and also to answer an assignment. So let's go naman kung paano mag-create ng group. There are times we are bothered na kailangan marami pa tayong learning. So we are asking for other classmates na magkaroon ng group para ma-access pa natin or ma-expound pa natin yung mga concepts sa binibigyan teachers. So what you can do is to click this one dito sa my groups create a group, and then you name your group depending on the subject that you have. So, yeah, tapos pwede mo siya i-describe kung ano yung ginagawa nyo. Select a grade. If you are a college, a senior high school, and whatsoever, you can click the subject. So, uh, yeah. So, that's on how to create a group. So, if you want to post something, an activity, just go to home and provide your post to your teacher. So, you could also message your teacher para away siya sa mga gagawin mo when it comes to your online class. So, that's it for the sample basic tutorial for online at modo.com. I hope you learned something from me, students. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.